All right, so forges seem to be kind of like their own type of dungeon that doesn't have a boss. I don't know for sure. I just am, I am I'm going to put I'm going to put a diamond on that thing so that I know what it is. Uh put a diamond on that. Unpronounceable asks, so you bought better coffee beans? Yeah, I got better coffee beans. Uh, much better. I definitely want to look into using some of the other weapons. I, I would really like that. Oh, I missed. Okay, it is blood flame. I guess the misbegotten use blood flame, so maybe I don't know. I thought... I'm so curious. I have so many thoughts about Mesmer and the Omen, and I don't know if they were allied or if they were against each other or if they were subjugated. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Chat, I have no idea. But I want to learn. <laughs> I want to learn really bad. <laughs> this is really fascinating. Poison Swamp! Look at that. God, it feels like home. Ooh. I see you, hidden pathway. You can't trick me. Festive grease? Solidified knot grease made from a mixture of bone shards, craftable item. Coats armament, imparting a festive incantation that grants a wielder a scant few runes on landing attacks. The effects last only a short time. The delightful festival is an old tradition, one old enough for the Erd Tree to tacitly tolerate its endurance. Oh my god, do we know what the Celebrants do? Because that's what the Celebrant Sickle does. Is this where the Celebrants items come from? Is this why they're like... Uh, is this why they're... Flowery? Because it grants you runes? Were they... Were they followers of the Erd Tree the whole time? Why was there a god skin in Dominula? I don't know. I don't know, chat. I'm losing my mind. A large moss animal glutted with poison. Material used for crafting items round and plump like a darling infant. Interesting. Um, okay. Uh, Rishan says, any new weapons catching your eye? Um... I can't answer that yet because I don't know all of the new weapon types. I, I know there are eight of them. And of the eight, I knew about the Jarkai swords. The I keep calling them the Jarkai swords because I have Star Wars brain rot. The, the backhanded swords. I knew those existed because um, they were in one of the previews. I knew throwing knives existed, but I didn't understand what they were um i know that sounds stupid but i my so i had a friend who was like oh i really want to use the new throwing knives and i was like in my head they were chakrams <laughs> like i th that that's what i thought they were like i didn't realize it was literally throwing knives so uh what is this it's a ghost rock? Are these the spirit springs? No? What? What is this? What is this weird little thing? Huh. Um, I had a friend, uh, so yeah, sorry, let me get back to it. Uh, so I knew the, uh, the backhanded swords existed. I knew, I know there is a weapon type, uh, that is Kung Fu Fists. I I know 
that there is light great swords. Elder's Hovel, Talisman of the Dread. And I knew about Dai Katanas. And out of all of those, the ones that interest me the most are throwing knives and probably light great sword. The backward swords are cool, but they're a little too anime for me. The light great sword seems very anime as well. Um, but I don't know about the other weapon types. Kung Fu fists are also very exciting to me. We'll look at those. Talisman depicting the dread dragon of the jagged peak, whose roars cause the peak's molten fury to boil and churn. Potenza raises potency of magma. Bale was the foul dragon's name, a terrible harbinger of destruction whose challenge to the ancient dragon lord ended in grievous mutual in uh, injury. O oh, Bale, tyrant Drake, do your wounds yet ache? Is your fury still yet to crest its zenith? Hurry, hurry, and lay it all to waste. Lay waste to the proud, the conceited each, every last one of that arrogant lot. Likely dragon. Dragon ahead, why is it always high spot? Too high up. Yeah, there are dragons up there. That would be dragons. Uh, this place is beautiful. This place is incredible. Well, now we know there's a dragon. Um, guys, this shit kicks so much ass. Okay, wait, what is this? Try jumping. I did! I tried jumping. Mutual injury, injury Placidus Axe is missing heads. That's exactly what I was thinking. Either Placidus Axe is missing heads or... Or something else. You have to wonder. It might be the th he might be the thing that put Placidus Axe into into stasis, maybe. Because we know time is frozen for Placidus Axe. Greater Potentate's Cookbook Seven. Okay. But I haven't read Book One through Six. I have no idea where we are right now. I'm actually very lost and I need to look at the map. Okay. Oh, okay, we went all the way over here. Damn, how big is this map? You gotta wonder. <laughs> Willem says, how goes the Erd Tree? It's very good. Things are great. Uh, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy. Uh, I'm so happy that I have a headache. Like, it's... What are the vulgar militia doing here? <laughs> what? Seriously, who invited these guys? Shadow militiamen. Okay, well. Crab. Cut that crab. That's a cave that we can go explore. Christian says, we're getting a lot of lore hints, but all of them are so far raising more questions than the answer. Very true. The thing is, is that we have gotten a lot of interesting answers, too. It's just... Their answers to questions I didn't think to ask, like, like why were the like what role did the perfumers have? Oh, the reason why they're so associated with fire is because they're part of Mesmer's troop. 
Like that's like, oh, interesting. Okay. Deep purple water lily that is on the verge of wilting. Material used for crafting items. Grows in the blue flower field at the coast. Likely, like a syrupy poison, its nectar lulls the imbiber into sweet velvety sleep. Huh. So it's like a Michelazili, but different? I don't understand people. <laughs> I don't understand the way they leave messages. I, when I play online in these games, I try my best to leave only good messages. Huh, okay, so let's keep going. It said grace ahead. I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Hey! Oh, we have a scatter tree fragment to cash in as well, I think. Let's do that. Let's let's cash in our fragments and our ashes. This is an interesting solution. I don't know if I think Oh, I don't have enough. There we go. Um, I don't know if I think this, like, secondary progression system is that elegant, but it works. Beautiful. I guess it is kind of beautiful, yeah. It's pretty. Oh, we're out in this ravine now. Out of all of the weapon types, sorry, I'm going to get back to this conversation because I meant to keep having it and then my brain stopped working. Um, out of all of the new weapon types, the ones that interest me the most are the Kung Fu Fist, the Throwing Knives, and the Light Greatsword. But the fact that the Light Greatsword... <laughs> the Light Greatsword is so puzzling to me. I have 150 questions about it because... Uh, don't... Don't... Don't look at what just happened. That was stupid. I completely... I'm falling apart, guys. I'm so happy. I'm high right now. I am I am baked off of how good this game is. Um, the, the thing that is interesting to me about Light Great Swords is I was very curious what they were. Um, I was very curious what they were because the name Light Great Sword is, like, kind of confusing. Like... What is a light greatsword? Is it just a greatsword that scales off decks? Like, what does that mean? Um, but then I saw what they were, and they're just Hema longswords. <laughs> they are bog standard European longswords. So I don't know why they're called light greatswords. It's very weird that they're called that. Um, and so. I, I'm just I I need to know like I want to know why they were called that uh, and you know the theory is like maybe it's because they know that just people won't touch new weapons and just want to use great swords I don't I don't know I have no idea um, I'm very curious about it but they are cool and I like that they're stately um, which is neat they're very they're like finesse weaponry which is cool but I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to end up using them or not. Um, they are just kind of intriguing. I think their art of war is a little bit silly. The one that everyone is going to use. But that's just me hating anime weaponry left. Round rock. What the hell is this? Round piece of rock shaped by the water's current can be used for crafting. Found on the ground at places like riverbanks, it breaks easily owing to extensive cracking. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. 
So these are the grave birds. Not twin birds, grave birds. Different, possibly the same. Likely the same thing, but also different. You can get down there. Interesting. Oh, fuck, I drank the wrong thing. Oh, I almost flung myself off the edge. That could have been really bad. <laughs> Isn't video games fun, guys? These things are dropping a good amount of souls, which is pleasant. Sombers. Not bad. Ranged battle, then Scarlet Rot. Oh! It's our good friend. Lobster. I don't need to range battle that thing. I can just fight that thing. I'm... What did it drop, guys? My dudes, why did that go there? I wanted that item, whatever that item was. I don't know what those things drop, so I'm sad now. Oh well. You can probably hop on down there, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, yes, I legally I should not be allowed to play Elden Ring and then drive. It's it would not be good for anyone. What? I tried to two hand my. Oh. It was just a somber stone? Dang. Oh, but he dropped something. Oh, nice. We're getting so many smithing stones. This DLC is going to be amazing for building characters quickly. And you have the grind spot right in front of Moog. If you want to, you could realistically make a character, get to Moog in like 35 minutes doing the Vare quest. Level up to level 160 in like an hour. Start the DLC, have all of your weapons upgraded. That shit's great. I was once told a coffin could convey its passenger upon a gentle cruise to the velvet garden of deepest purple. Oh, to slumber in such a paradise. Are they really gonna put another cypher coffin? <laughs> I just the the meme. You know that they're in it for the meme. <laughs> Guys, this shit rules. This shit rules so hard. <laughs> oh. It's so good. It's so good. I love this game. I love everything about this. I get to have so few experience in life experiences in my life that are this just plainly joyful. And this is like this is up there. It's just such a good vibe. Just such a good feeling to have. Just very happy. Just very truly really happy. Okay, god damn it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Where do I want to go? 
I mean, I do want to keep going this way because I'm enjoying just like exploring the area that we've already unlocked without like progressing anywhere or going anything further, any place further. But I don't know. I just am, I'm curious how much of this is like where we're supposed to be versus where we can be, if that makes sense. Like, there's a little bit of, like, sequential logic here that I'm curious about. Oh, man. This, this shit rocks, guys. This is so good. Is that the same furnace golem or a second one? This appears to be a second one. Um, which obviously is scary. I hope this water isn't instant death. It looks like it might be. So we'll be really good and try not to fall in it. Is it gonna be instant death, guys? Ooh, it's not, okay, woof. Woof, was a little worried for nothing, okay. All right, so we are in the village, like underneath where we fought the first Great Hammer Knight. This map is deeply layered. I wonder if we're going to be able to meet Mikola. Oh, big sheep. Big sheep. Oh boy. I just needed to try it once, you know. A Fulger you? What is this? Forager Brood Cookbook Yellow Fulgur Bloom. What? Blossoms in the Roman Shadows Underground Gravesites is placed struck by lightning, imbued with yellow lightning's essence. Forager Brood Cookbook, a record of crafting techniques led by the non human Forager Brood, shared out of kindness towards Moore and his kin. Lightning proof pickled liver. Are you going to have to fight Mikola way of Tomoe or something? Like, what? <laughs> okay. Yikes. Yeah, lots of Fulgur you. Just gonna scoot past that. Uh oh, does it smell me? It smells me. Look at its fire raging like that. Okay, we will give it a little bit of a wide berth. Oh no! The scary music is playing, which means it can. Oh yeah, it's trying to kill me. Okay, we are gonna skedaddle. We're gonna hit the dusty old trail there. Uh, no thank you. Okay, um, ha. Huh. Cerulean Coast. Oh god, how big is this map? I will light this grace. Um, but I don't think that's this is where I should be. I don't think that's where I should be, y'all. I don't know about you, gang, but I don't think that's where I need to be right now. There's no map for this place that I can see. What's like way over there? Where where does that? That's way over there. It is very pretty. Um, let's 
go over here and see what we're doing. See what we're dealing with. Uh. <sighs> I want to see if this thing is going to be a boss that's difficult to deal with. Castle Ensis. Okay. Why is it protected by a carrion troll? Was it enlisted? Or is it somehow related to the carrions? Glint Blade Phalanx, not good. There we go. NPC, not NPC, enemy. Shadow Realm Rune, okay. Castle Ensis. What is this place? Oh, God. up here seek campsite okay well not helpful but thank you I know the way I'm progressing through this map is probably a little crazy um, something incredible had cool weapon milady oh this is the this is the light gray sword great sword or at least one of them um, this is what they look like. They're cool. Um, they are, they have, I feel like the name has to be a piss take, right? Like it's gotta be making fun of people who like great swords. There's no way it's not. Here we go, Milady, a light great sword that is a sword whose blade matches the length of a great sword while being constrained to a minimal weight. Nicknamed after ladies of noble status for its refined appearance, with cultivated form one can wield this weapon swiftly as uh, one might a straight sword. Quality scaling, go figure. Probably scales better with decks overall. Um, it's the very gentlemanly weapon. It has impaling thrust. I don't hate that. I do think the animations are maybe a little bit fruity, <laughs> but that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Gay. Yeah. I'm allowed to say that because I'm also gay, but like this is like a twink weapon. You know what I mean? You know, it's very, in it's inherently androgynous. <laughs> I feel like this is like a, yeah, this is a weapon. This is a twink weapon. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it more than that. It's just a twink weapon. <laughs> Oh, that's a very, <laughs> this is a very funny weapon. Okay, um, that's interesting. It's a pierce weapon. That's interesting, actually. What did I expect from a light greatsword? I imagined a light greatsword. I imagined a sword that was a greatsword, but smaller than a greatsword. Uh... 
This is so silly. This is your this is the Witcher weapon. That's what it is. You're you're playing the Witcher, but like even more anime boy twirly twirly do weapon. <laughs> uh, that's quirky. Um, I'm just comparing it. Huh. Uh huh. Yeah, that's quirky. Uh, I have so many thoughts about this <laughs> weapon and how <laughs> really unbelievably silly that is. I have a lot of thoughts. Um, interesting. Okay. <laughs> it is it's a trick to get UGS only unga bunga players to actually try out dex weapons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just feel like I just feel like we're going to find there's going to be a video that's like Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree, more like Elden Ring Shadow of the Woke Tree, greatsword users emasculated by OP girly weapon. Like, it's, like, come on, you gotta feel like they're going, they're doing something with that. That's very funny. I'm sorry, it's just funny. It's just funny to imagine. It's, it's such a psyop, like, so blatantly. It's very funny. I like fighting these guys. I just, yeah. That's a silly weapon. That's a silly little weapon for silly little boys. That's how I feel about that weapon. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of like anime obsessed <laughs> dudes making female characters to play as that will use that great sword and they'll name them like yeah like lady lady leonora <laughs> like that's the vibe that i get you know what i'm saying i don't know maybe maybe i'm being mean <laughs> i don't know carved words coalesce i abandon here the flesh of my body interesting so this is another spot that Mikola stopped at. Okay. So does that give me, does this give me an idea? Let's see. Message left by the Needle Knight Leda, uh, addressed to kindred spirits who pursue Mikola's trail. Kind Mikola seeks the tower sealed by shadow in the gate of divinity found there. If we are to reach him, we must burn the tree that seals the path, and for that we require a flame. Was Mikola the one that called Mesmer? Okay, so there are three little spots. One of them is outside at the crossroads. One is in Castle Ensis, and one is in the other area. Do we do we just want to keep pursuing here, Castle Ensis? Oh, who is this? Oh, it's just a dude. Okay. Um. And then this teaches us that there's a little cliff here that we can go by. Yep. Clever. Clever game design, little clever game design things going on there. What's down here? Let's just fall. Let's have fun. Let's have fun in the dog cave. Fuck. The millennia at home sword? Exactly. Fuck. I suck at video games, guys. I'm so bad at video games. Uh, it's just, it's funny. I don't know. That's a, that, I mean, it's a cool weapon. Don't get me wrong. It, it's certainly unique. I, I look at it and it makes me chuckle. Did I forget? I forgot to fucking touch the side of grace because I'm so dumb. Guys, I'm so dumb. Uh, <laughs> 
Oh, the troll despawned. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I should look around, actually. So, the fact that there was a carrion troll here makes me wonder if there are carrion banners here. But I'm not seeing the primeval current anywhere. So, probably not. Oh, I lost 80k souls. My first time actually losing souls in this in this whole LP. Dang. In this playthrough. That's fine. Not really that worried about it. I didn't realize I aggroed the uh the guy over there. That's a bummer. I mean, it's not like souls are hard to come by in this DLC. It does remind me though. Um So interesting. Well, now I have nothing to lose, and thus I have nothing to fear. Don't fucking whore frost stomp me. Oof. Okay, I can't punish that. Man, we're getting so many smithing stones. That's wild. Okay. What is... How How does anyone get up there? I guess torrent? Or I guess walking over here? Probably just walking, right? The tracking on this weapon is so bad. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, I can't use torrent in here. Okay, interesting. Oh, fuck, he's back. Okay. Twelve hundred per attack really isn't bad. When you think about it. Even when you're not thinking about it. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right, this time, don't be a dummy and touch the freaking bonfire. So my Scatter Tree Blessing was empowered. Wow, that was a big buff. That was a pretty big buff. Great arrows, thank you. Thank you, Miyazaki. Oh, does this just lead us? Where does this lead us?
I'm having thoughts, sorry. Let me think about this. Water side, then try ladder. Okay. Drawstring royal magic grease. Magic resonant materials believed to have once been bestowed upon a low ranking carrion knights in lieu of fellowship characteristic swords. Okay, interesting. Not resin. Dude, he was knotted so hard he died. I should alter my garment so I'm not wearing the cape. I don't know if it's possible on this weapon set, but the cape is big. Hi, Apollo. Opened up a little shortcut. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I should really mix my physics so that it actually works. And it isn't... I had my physics set for grinding. Um, stuff. Grinding stuff. Go back down the waterfall and check out the area beneath. I like turtles. Okay. Alright, so we're climbing on top of this place now. What is what did this do for us? What do we get for this? There's a lot of death. So there's a lot of dying happening right here if we fuck up. So is there anything maybe non-deathy for us right here? Oh, there's an item. Starlight shards. Why? What? I mean, okay, but like, huh? I don't know. I have thoughts. I have thoughts. I got lots of little thoughts in my head. Chat. Come on. Get out of my way, you little varmint. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, things are going to be a little weird for a minute because my hand is hurting holding my controller, so I'm switching to keyboard and mouse. Christian said, I was wondering when we'd uh, start seeing spell raid stuff. Maybe Starlight was a start. Yeah, very possible. Pitch dark soot clings to it. Okay, yeah, so it's all the same.
Interesting. Very interesting. 